everybody. My name is Kerry Daigle. Welcome to the Keep Punching University call that we do every Monday night. It's at 5.50 p.m. Central Time, 6.50 Eastern. And of course, uh, you can figure the times out in the United States and of course, Mexico. I'm not quite sure if Mexico City is Central Time or not anymore. I know it changed, but you'll be able to let us know that in a minute. Today, we got a special guest on. And it's just a conversation. We're just going to have a good, simple conversation tonight. He's our CEO in the country of Mexico for Juice Plus. And he's been a huge asset for all of us that are working the Spanish market, not only in Mexico, but the Spanish market in the United States and Canada. And once you start working that Hispanic Latino market in the U.S. and Canada, believe me, it ends up in Mexico without a question. So uh, we're very fortunate to have this young man on, but Gustavo, if you don't mind, if you don't mind maybe introducing yourself, would you mind sharing a little bit about your background uh, before Juice Plus? Yeah, absolutely. Well, first of all, thank you, Kerry, for inviting me over to this incredible Sons of Monday, Cape Punching University. Um, I love it. And um, I have to say, first of all, that yes, we are in the same time zone right now uh, in central time as you guys are. Um, Mexico for one year now is not changing times anymore. So we always have the same the same time zone here in Mexico, uh, in most of the states, some 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 places in the north, in the border with the U.S., they change it with, with you guys when you have the daylight or whatever you call it. But yeah, we are in the same central time right now. So it's a pleasure to me uh, for me to be here. Always uh, a pleasure to share with you family of Juice Plus uh, because that's where you are. You are my family. Um, I hope everybody knows me for our, I have already four years in the company for in and three months. I joined the company in September 2019. Uh, September 2019, it, it was when I joined the company. And uh, before that, um, so let me tell you a little bit of myself. I am from Venezuela. Most of you don't know that, but I'm from Venezuela, from South America. Uh, but I've been living in Mexico for the last 22 years, and specifically in Mexico City, and I've been also living in Guadalajara uh, for five years. And so Mexico is my home now. Um, I became a Mexican citizen um, 15 years ago. And I love this country. And I feel like Mexican, actually. I travel around the world with my Mexican passport. And um, so... So yeah, after before I joined the company, I was working in the industry uh, of direct sales. I uh, being in the industry twenty four years, actually pretty much pretty almost close to twenty five years, and um, I been involved with some other very good companies and a very well respected companies in the industry. Um, before uh, that, I also have a hotel management degree that's my, my that's my degree in the university in venezuela um so that's why i always like to serve people because the customer service is my field and um some people say you know it's very hard for, in other companies when you find out that the 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 managing director the the director of the company is very hard to find and well i'm the opposite <laughs> I'm very easy. I'm a very easy guy. So you can you can find me 24-7. Kerry knows that. I'm always available and I'm always uh just a click in the phone of the distance. So I'm always available. I'm very happy to see in this call my one of my two biggest leaders in Mexico, Monica Devil Dogs from she's from Saltillo, but she lives in Baron Rouge. And Jessica Torre, who is she's from Mexico, also, but she lives in Austin, Texas. So, Kerry, yeah, that's that's a little bit of myself. Um, you already know that I'm Venezuelan, but I'm living in Mexico. That I've been involved in the industry for 25 years. 
and I joined Juice Plus on September 2019. This beautiful co company, and I I gotta tell you guys that this is my last job as as um, Paulo Teixeira. You remember Paulo Teixeira, our former CEO, and he when he welcomed me to the company, he said, "Welcome to your last job." And I believe so. I'm already 50 years old and um, I don't want to start looking for another job. I want to stay here forever and until I die. So Juice Plus is going to be my home for the rest of my life. And uh, I'm going to make sure that you guys are part of the growth that we are studying in Latin America because Mexico is the gate to Latin America. I'm a little curious your attraction to the Juice Plus company, how did you go? Because you've got a, over two decades experience in direct sales. How did you end up with the Juice Plus company? It was funny because I was I was with another company. I was working with them, uh, you know, carrying my experience in juice in, in the in the industry has been directed to open countries. Uh so my specialty is to open operations in different countries in Latin America. I've been, I have open countries like Venezuela, of course, where I live. Um, when I said open countries, I start operations, the companies from zero to, to, to start the company in that country. So I start Venezuela, Ecuador, Colombia, Peru, Argentina, and of course, Mexico. And um, when I was working, Working in that other company, um, I got a call, um, actually a message from a headhunter in Hong Kong. And imagine that, a headhunter in Hong Kong, uh, he contacted me and said, hey, Gustavo, there is a company called Juice Plus that uh, they are looking for somebody like you, uh, like your profile to open the country. Have you heard about Juice Plus before? He asked me and I said, no, I have to be honest. I don't. I don't know. I don't know anything about Juice Plus. And uh, he said, "Well, you better look out for them and uh, get the information about them because this is a great company and they are opening Mexico. Are you interested in the interview process?" And he said, "Yes, of course. Let's do this." And uh, so it took me like five months uh, to to have the final words from Paulo Teixeira and Sean Hopkins. And um, so finally, I got it, and uh, I was the I was the lucky one. <laughs> well, we're the lucky one. We feel so. We're real uh, honored to have you as being our leader in the country of Mexico. Something you have to be excited about is that we have a new global CEO that has uh, a Latin American background, Travis Garza. So that's got to excite you a little bit too. Absolutely, absolutely. When I when I met Travis and I met this the story of Travis, I I know, I know the company that he has worked for it, and I, I know his his what he's able for it, and I was so happy and so thrilled to have him on board, because I when he joined, I said, wow, Latin America is going to explode for sure. But that's what Travis Travis Garza likes a lot. Yeah, we had uh, looking back at his history, uh, he's actually taken companies from uh, to multi billion dollar companies per year. So uh, I know the two of you got to you got to be excited being able to work with Travis and his energy and so forth. Well, tell us a little bit about what's going on in Mexico. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, well, let me tell you guys, I don't know if you heard, but I don't know, I don't know if you are all aware that we already have three years of official operations. We, we opened the company officially uh, September the 9th of the 2020, right in the middle of the pandemic. Yes, we're crazy. I don't know what happened with me on that time, but I said, we are going to open the, the, the company no matter what. And everything was against us. Everything was against us. You know, can't imagine people didn't want to go to events, people even to open our beautiful office that we had at that time. It was very difficult because 
the building doesn't allow us to be in the didn't allow us to be in the in the in the office and i said we are going to open no matter what and we we are going to do it and we did it we did it with uh with a set of pioneers we create something uh, called the the pioneers club for mexico uh which monica and 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 jessica are part of those pioneers and they believe in the company. And you know what? Let me tell you a little story, a bit funny story. When we opened the company, when we offered the Pioneer Club, that was in July of 2020, and we launched a period of 60 days, July and August, for people to join the company without having any product. We didn't have the product in the warehouse. Uh, so I said, I'm going to put my neck, you know, here my head I'm gonna put it in risk because I'm gonna I'm gonna do this no matter what but I'm gonna make people believe in our company in juice plus before we launch it officially so we did it and everything works very well we in September the nine of the nine we officially opened the website and um and that's when the pioneers could get the product in their houses and um, so I can tell you guys that, you know, in my experience, when when we open a country in different companies, when we open a country, I, I'm used to receive a lot of North American people, Canadian, US, US people, European people uh, that they move to the country so at least for six months, you know, to develop the, the, the leadership that they need to develop the country. But because of the pandemic, that was not possible because people couldn't travel to Mexico. And um, so that was makes things harder for us. But I, I, I don't use the word harder or impossible. I just said it was a challenge. It was a very challenging time. And uh, but we did it. We did it. And and a lot of people get in. As you know, as you know, the business, you know how the business is. A lot of people getting and a lot of people go out, go out of the business. But the people who believe in us, who believe in the country and who believe in the product are stay, stay in this company, are, are still around. And, um, and I'm very, very happy right, right now. Mexico, you know, in the last three years, we have been working on developing leaders. That's what we need. We need, you know that. In order to believe, in order to explode your business, you need leadership. And that's what we have been focusing on. We are focusing on constructing and building leadership. And that's what Jessica, Monica, Victoria Van Dusi, who is here, she's an amazing leader. That's thanks to her because she came to Mexico and she moved there into Saltillo, which is one of the border cities in Mexico. And uh, she moved there for more than one month to develop one of the, actually our first QNMD comes from you guys, come from, from this group. And uh, our first QNMD, Martis Lopez is, is based in Saltillo. And that was possible because leadership, leadership, leadership. So, that's what that's what is happening in the last three years. We have celebrated our third anniversary. We celebrated our third anniversary last September, and um, right now uh, there are more than three thousand partners signed in, in the country. Uh, of course, not all of them are active, but I I want to tell you one thing, Kerry. This is we have done nothing. We are just starting. We are just starting. The, the best is yet to come. I always like to say that because I would like to remind you two facts or three. I don't know, but let me let me remind you some facts. First, Mexico is a country of 130 million people. 130 million people live in this beautiful country. We have 32 states. And one thing that you probably don't know is that Mexico is number seven, listen to this, number seven in the world of the direct sales. So every huge multi-billion company that you know in this industry is based in Mexico. 
every single company that is a multi-billion company is in Mexico. So what I'm telling you is that Mexican knows about the red cells. They know, they are very professional about it. But we have one advantage with Juice Plus, and I wanna tell you why. And I want to encourage you, no matter if you don't speak Spanish, you don't need to speak Spanish to, to develop a country. You, you need to just to communicate and have the same vibration of all of us as a family has with Juice Plus. And people will follow that. People will follow your energy. And here in Mexico, we don't care if you don't speak Spanish. We will, we will make you feel welcome. And we will see the way to understand. Actually, this is our biggest tool, the iPhones or the phone that you have. Google Translator can help us a lot. I speak with people in Japan and I don't speak Japanese. I speak people with people in France and I don't speak French. So what, I, what I'm telling you is that this is a huge opportunity. And remember one more thing. From Mexico to Argentina, which is the, the farthest country in the South America, there are 600 million people living in this area of the world. And Mexico is the gate to all of these countries. If we make Mexico successful, we are going to open Latin America. And who is gonna be the pioneers? You guys, you guys, the people who is listening to me right now. Because believe me, we are going to do it. No matter what, it's just, a, it's just a matter of time. We are going to do it. And I want you to be the first one to take advantage of that territory. But we need to start. We need to start. And I, I'm offering here, Carrie, and I, I don't know if, 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 <laughs> if I'm putting a gun in my head right now, but I'm offering you, I'm 24 seven for you. Carrie has my contact phone number. We don't use Boxer, I'm sorry. We use WhatsApp in Mexico. We use WhatsApp, that's what we use, okay? And you can contact me in WhatsApp. I have a Boxer, I don't even use it, but I have it. I have it, if somebody write me there, I, I will answer. But what I'm telling you is, if you wanna know more about Mexico business, about Mexico operations, ask me, I'm here for you. And probably you don't know either this last thing I'm gonna say. Compensation plan of Mexico is the same one you guys have in the US. It's the same, everything is the same. The only difference of course is the currency. We have pesos here in Mexico and uh, Mexican pesos and you have US dollars, but everything is the same bonuses, um, percentage, commissions, um, sell retail, re retail sales profit. We actually have the double retail sales profit right now until the Thursday, 30, you know that. Last four days for double retail sales profit for partners, partner plus and QSC. We, always ha we also have that in Mexico. And we have the sign up fee reduced pretty much by 50% off. We have uh, seven, 766 pesos comparing to 1500, which is our regular um, sign off fee. So I don't know, Kerry, if I answer your question or probably- I Yeah, no, you absolutely did. I'm, I'm just really excited about everything that's going on. And the statistics you brought up, I happen to pick up uh, some information from a guy I know real well. He's a writer for a magazine called the networkmarketingmagazine.com. And I'm gonna read what he, what he wrote just recently about the Hispanic market. And then I'd like to get your comments and your thoughts on that, Gustavo. He says, Hispanics are prime market for direct sales, um, especially in Mexico. One key is for your message to remain culturally relevant, regardless of what language is used to deliver it, exactly what you were saying. Close to a trillion dollars in spending power 
four times faster growth than any other ethnic group. And according to experts, they'll comprise 25% of the nation's population within 25 years. By now, facts and figures about the Hispanic market and the amazing opportunity it represents should be enticing enough for your company to consider developing a strategy that includes this demographic. Simply put, Latino customers should be the most important marketing campaign component for any direct selling company. Word of mouth is how we share knowledge, how we transmit our culture and the wisdom of our grandmothers to our youth. This is how we find out about that excellent product that is going to deliver the results we're looking for. In fact, the first source we ask before we make a decision about a particular product or service is often to a relative or a friend or someone we perceive to be an expert. Among Latinos, information is passed mostly by word of mouth. And this is what it says last. When you show them the ways in which your product or service can enhance their everyday lives and engage them through inspiring and relevant experiences, they become loyal brand ambassadors who will root for your company for life. And then in Forbes magazine, here's two statistics that Forbes magazine just had. Hispanics account for almost half of the U.S. population growth. Number two, more than half of the U.S. Hispanic population is under the age of 29. So we know, we talk about this all the time, you and I, Gustavo, that if you're in Canada or you're in the U.S. and you speak to someone in the Latin American group, Hispanic group, it's going to end up in Mexico. It's going to end up in Mexico. You're going to have business in Mexico. It's going to happen. Would you mind commenting on those few things that I just read out to you? Yeah, I I, I want to say thank you for that statistics, for those numbers, because remember, you have 60 million people in the Hispanic community, 60 million people living in the U.S., Okay, and this is this is one of the growing and more fastest growing that inside of the U.S. communities have right now. And scary, as Kerry said, you probably you probably know a neighbor. You probably know somebody that is from the Hispanic community, and it will end up in Mexico. Not all of them are from Mexico, for sure. There are people from other countries in Latin America. But I would guarantee you that one of them knows somebody in Mexico. And and that's and that's the way. That's the way that you know we have Laura Morelos, she's a tremendous colleague of mine, and he he she's doing a tremendous job there in the US with the Hispanic community. But I'm always in touch with her and I'll always talk to her. I will always trying to connect the Hispanic with Mexico because let me tell you one example. For example, if California or Florida explode in the Hispanic community, Mexico will explode for sure. I guarantee that because I seen this with other companies. And ladies and gentlemen, we have the best of the best. I'm, I'm, I'm sure of that. I don't have any single doubt about it. I've been 25 years around. I've been looking at leaderships in different countries. I've been looking at different compensation plans, at different products. We have the best of the best. There is no competition around. And all we need to do is educate people. All we need to do is to be informed of what we are. And again, go out tomorrow or tonight and pay attention who who is speaking Spanish or who is 
speaking it with some weird accent, like my accent. I love my accent, by the way. <laughs> so I'm telling you, there are 60 million people in your country. Go for them and you will automatically will have a business in Mexico, for sure. Without a question. You know, one thing that I can talk about a little bit, Gustavo, is uh, my wife and I, Mickey, have been involved in this company for 34 years. And we do business in several countries throughout the world. Fortunately, uh, we're doing quite a bit of business in Mexico and we want to do a lot more. And uh, since 1989, when we originally started, we were always excited and continued to build and so forth. We all know that the pandemic and this health crisis slowed us down for almost three years. But with the um, hiring of Travis Garza as our leader globally, as our CEO, and the experience he brings in direct sales and network marketing, along with your experience in direct sales and network marketing, when we combine those two together and you understand the Hispanic market, I will tell you in the next 36 months from our experience, we're going to see unprecedented growth. And the truth of the matter is you're either going to be part of it or you're not. It's that simple. So I would urge you to pay real close attention to, I'm not saying the Hispanic market has to be 100% of your business. Absolutely not. But it definitely can be a part of it because it's going to grow exponentially. And in the next 36 months, we're going to set records that's never been set before. I know this, I know this, and I will tell you on this recording, I promise you, you're gonna see records being broken because I've been involved long enough to know when to strike. And the time of the strike is right now in your business, like you've never done before. With the leadership we have with Travis Garza and the leadership we have of Gustavo Beltran in the Hispanic market, we are gonna, on that marketplace. It's going to be ours. As far as the whole food market, we're already the GOAT. We are the greatest of all time. Nobody can touch us. We've got 48 double-blind placebo-controlled studies published in gold standard medical journals. We're NSF certified. And on top of that, we've got a product that's 30 years old, a product, the whole food product. And it's never going to go out of business because fruits and vegetables have been around since Genesis in the Bible. It's not going anywhere. We're going to always eat it. So I want to say that because I want to endorse everything that Gustavo is doing. He's a hard worker. And WhatsApp is the way to reach him. I can tell you this. I can send a message to Gustavo anytime, day or night, seven days a week. I'm getting an answer back. He is dedicated. He's willing to work with whoever is willing to really open the doors up and, and just what I call blow them down. He's there. He's ready. He's willing to go. This is the CEO of Mexico I'm talking about. He's not just a hired gun that's sitting out there working in the Mexican market. He's the CEO of Mexico. He's the man. And he's offering his assistance to work with us directly. I would suggest you jump on top of that from a business background that I have as an entrepreneur. You move and you move as fast as you can. Don't prejudge anyone. Don't look at anyone and say, I wonder if, no wonder if. Just get out there and start talking to people. I'm a little surprised that we don't have other leaders on this particular call. But you know what? I'm proud of the ones that are on right now because you guys got to hear it from Gustavo and you got to hear and meet him. And you go to WhatsApp, you look him up and you send him a message and you ask any question you want to, he's going to be there. And I want to let you know that we're available to help you also. Well, we can take this, this at one time, 21 year old girl, Victoria Van Duzu, who definitely can't speak Spanish, none at none whatsoever. And she goes to Mexico and spends her first trip there a month by herself, not knowing anything about the market, cannot speak the language. And she came home with a QNMD that was recruited by Monica DeBeal Docs, the girl that played golf at LSU. 
You just never know where this business is going to end up, do you? So, Gustavo, I'd like any final comments for you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you. Thank you again, um, guys, ladies. You are my family. I'm here for you 24-7. And let's do this. Let's do it. Without you, it's going to be more difficult. We're going to do it. But, but with you, it's going to be simple. It's going to be more simple. And uh, remember this. Mexico needs these products. Mexican people needs these products. Our three causes of death here in Mexico are related to food, are related to nutrition. So we are in the right track. We are in the right industry and we have the right product. We are in the best moment to do it. And I can guarantee, as Kerry said, 2024, you will hear more than ever about leadership in Mexico. We will have for sure our first NMD. We will have more QNMDs coming and we will have a lot of more people uh, exploding the business. It will, be, it will be awesome if that people comes from you. Um, so I'm here. Um, I already wrote my WhatsApp in the chat. Um, you can just drop me a line and say, I'm here and ask me whatever question you have. And um, I will be answering for you. So thank you, Kerry. And have everyone, Merry Christmas. Is that, if I don't see you, Merry Christmas. Have a great new year. And um, I'll see you in Indianapolis, in Phoenix, in whatever events international we will have. Thank you. I will see you in Mexico very soon in 2024. Absolutely. We will be waiting for you. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.